Hey guys, um, today I'll be doing the summary for our topic, <coughs> adding and subtracting of decimals. Uh, let's go over some estimating and, uh, sums and differences. Uh, we said in our video that we get um, questions like, um, for example, 8.88 plus 4.42. And to do this, first you have to uh, estimate the two numbers. Uh, to do this, um, look at the number after the decimal point and identify if it's greater than or less than 5, 10, or 500, 550, or 500, depending on its place value. Uh, 88 is greater than 50, so I round that in the, I round the 8 to a 9. I'll keep the 9 as it is. We, I mean, usually we do add uh, the zeros where the rounded number first was, but since this is a whole number, I'll just keep it as 9. Do the same over here. Look at number after the decimal point. 42 is less than 50. So I round the 3. I, I keep the 4 as it is because uh, you, you don't really change the 4 since um, the rounded number um, is less than uh, the midpoint. So keep that at 4. And go ahead and add that. And it's 13. Now let's do a subtraction problem. For example, we get a problem such as um, 60, 6.68 minus 2.39. <coughs> to do this, always look at the number after the decimal point and identify it if it's greater than or less than. And 60 is greater than 50, so we round the 6 to 7. And look over here. Um, number after decimal point, 39 is less than 50, so we keep the 2 as it is. Bring it over here and subtract that and we get a 5. Now let's do some uh, addition of decimals. Uh, when we went over the video, we said that we get problems in horizontal form. For example, uh, 1.21 plus 0.5. Uh, 2.11 <coughs> and to do this we have to align the decimal points vertically let's go ahead and do that at the addition sign and now we put in our numbers and go ahead and ad add that um, so this will be a 2 a 3 and 3 and now to do with the decimal number point you just bring that straight down so just bring that straight down and you get an answer of 3.32. Let's do some subtraction of decimal numbers. For example, we get a problem like um, 7.27 minus um, 2.68. And to do this, remember, always align the decimal points vertically <coughs> at the addition sign, I'll put in the numbers, and go ahead and subtract that, um, I don't know if I'm doing this right, yeah, um, yeah, and uh, um, take that from here, 5, um, 6, and 4, okay, and then you just have to bring the decimal point straight down. And the answer is 4.59. Um, to learn more about um, adding and subtracting decimals, I recommend to uh, look at our um, video section on adding and subtracting decimals. And see you guys next time. Bye.